Some people set high standards to mask their low self-esteem, creating a facade of confidence while struggling internally. What's up my loves? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will explore a few ways you can raise your self-esteem higher than your standards. It's possible. If you struggle with low self-esteem and find it challenging to raise your standards in friendship and relationship, then this guide is for you. I will show you step by step on how to raise your self-esteem so you can establish healthy standards that will enhance every area of your life. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video so YouTube can recommend it to others. Let's hop right into it. High self-esteem refers to a person's sense of self-worth and personal value. It shows how much you love and appreciate yourself regardless of the circumstances. And some of the key characteristics of high self-esteem include self-love and self-respect. People with high self-esteem respect and love themselves they recognize their intrinsic value and are not overly dependent on external validation another one is confidence healthy boundaries positive image and resilience these are some of the characteristics of high self-esteem high standards on the other hand is all about the criteria or expectations someone has for themselves and others these standards guide how a person lives their life and what they expect from relationship career and personal behavior when a person with high standards go into a relationship they will make you understand how they should be treated they expect respect honesty and commitment from their partners they choose quality over quantity now how do you raise your self-esteem higher than your standards number one engage in self-care self-care is all about taking your time to nourish your body your mind and spirit it includes maintaining physical health mental well-being and emotional balance learn to exercise as often as you can get in shape if it's your tummy that is making you feel less of yourself work on your tummy if it's your hand that is too big and is making you lose confidence in yourself or make you have low self-esteem work on how you can have a good arm if you are underweight eat well eat healthy food sleep well engage in activities that you enjoy it's all part of self-care take care of your skin use the right product on your skin use sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun drink enough water take vitamin c and supplements you need to learn to engage in activities that helps to reduce stress and enhance self-awareness the second thing to do is to practice self-compassion start treating yourself with love learn to forgive yourself forgive yourself from your mistakes learn from your mistakes stop dwelling too much on what you did wrong in the past recognize your humanity and understand that nobody is perfect stop treating yourself bad sometimes it's too much of oh i am not this i am not that i am not worthy of this i made this mistake that keeps holding you back keep making you feel less of yourself you need to always feel better about yourself and about who you are when you feel better about yourself and you are okay being you people will be okay to be around you stop complaining about your features and stop comparing yourself with others love everything about yourself if it's something you need to work on work on it when you make a mistake instead of criticizing yourself acknowledge the error and think of what you can learn from it this is something that has helped me so far i don't dwell no more in my mistakes because i'm a human i'm a girl when i make a mistake or maybe i didn't do the right thing i instead of crying over it beating myself up over something I've already done that can be corrected I try to learn from it and move on and try not to repeat that mistake again this is going to help you when you are on this journey of working to boost your self-esteem in order to become this or that because when your self-esteem is high you'll be able to meet up with a lot of things but when your self-esteem is low you will always count yourself out you will always count yourself out of opportunities You'll be like no i've not gotten to that level who told you i've not gotten i can't be among this type of women who told you i can't attend that conference because i don't i don't feel like i'm worthy who told you so you need to stop beating yourself 
practice self-compassion love yourself this will help you boost your self-esteem faster than anything the next one which is number three is to build supportive network let me tell you about this one surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people who uplift you and encourage you can significantly impact your self-esteem trust me this one helps a lot when i was on this same journey of boosting and building my self-esteem i think i've made video concerning that on this channel you guys i had only two friends these two friends were very supportive they are confident women i became friends with them i changed my cycle of friends spend more time with family and friends who supports and appreciates you avoid anything toxic relationship toxic situationship toxic friendship avoid them if you want to build your confidence if you want to hire your self-esteem first you need to avoid these people who don't motivate or encourage you who always try to bring you down who always try to speak ill of you who always try to tell you how skinny you are or how fat you are no you don't need those people you want to take your time nurture yourself be compassionate and grow anything that drains your energy and self-worth can easily bring down your self-esteem it can cause you to have low self-esteem the next one is to cultivate gratitude recognize and appreciate the positive aspects of your life it shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have have a gratitude journal where you write down things that you are grateful for every day i'll be introducing to you guys one of my favorite journal very soon when someone do something for you instead of shouting oh i don't deserve it oh how can i pay you back just relax and say thank you appreciate them let them know that you are grateful for the gift no matter how little it is don't make yourself feel like you don't deserve it and don't show up as an ungrateful person no matter how little that gift is if you have your way of giving them back later don't give back because they gave you I mean take your time some people can naturally give you something if you are someone with confidence and you know your worth you know that you are worthy of gift so when someone gifts you something don't always try to make it look like oh i don't deserve it how can i pay you back a lot of people are like that and that will be on another video okay so when someone gives you something always show gratitude appreciate them thank them for i mean being kind to you it's going to help you on this journey always stay grateful no matter what and lastly to boost your self-esteem higher than your standards you must learn to challenge negative thoughts when you find yourself thinking about negative things or criticizing yourself in your head change it immediately don't don't wait to finish it don't wait to conclude it you know sometimes when those negative thoughts come and you remember this is not what you should be thinking what mind will be telling you just just finish i don't know if it happens to you guys i do experience it yes that mind will be telling you think about it think further no don't think further change it immediately and start thinking of positive things replace it immediately with positive self-talks there is no good thing that comes out of negativity there is no good thing that comes out of thinking less of yourself or thinking that you are not this or you are not that there is no good thing that comes out of it it only it will only make you not love yourself it will only make you condemn yourself or make you lose your self-esteem so always challenge it learn to speak as well sometimes when those negative thoughts come just be like i rebuke you not today and start thinking or speaking positive things i do that a lot view challenges as opportunities focus on personal development focus on things that will that will help you grow focus on things that will help you become better think about how bright the future is think about how beautiful your future is going to be don't think about anything that will bring you down or make you lose your self-esteem honestly listen to me when you focus on these five things that i've mentioned in this video you can build a strong sense of self-worth that exceeds the standards you set for yourself and others and this can lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life when you set your self-esteem higher than your standards your confidence naturally shines through and people will begin to treat you better
you will not have the need to beg for respect anymore. You will not have the need to seek for validation anymore. Once your self-esteem is high, when people say you, they will respect you because the way you carry yourself, the way you pull up in confidence, the way you always speak, they will know that this one is not the type to play with. I hope you've been able to learn something new today. Let me know in the comment section by dropping three big love for me. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and always remember that I love you guys so much. Bye.